When utilizing Rapsodo, one of the biggest tools is the spin data. Uh, for both our pitching and hitting metrics, uh, there's a lot of spin data to dive into, especially for your coach or your player that's new to Rapsodo. Um, we have a the history report pulled up here on the Diamond app. Um, so even in a session, you'll be able to see the immediate feedback of that spin data, uh, but you can also, it populates live into the history tab to be able to see the averages. Um, some of the best places to start with the spin data, um, after you look at the data guides, understand what each metric is, um, and after a baseline is established for each player, that's when you can dive into what the average is for each pitch of the arsenal is on the spin data. Um, when we talk about spin as a, as a broad whole, what you'd be getting is the um, total spin rate of the pitch, uh, but also the true spin. Um, so those are going to be um, the amount of RPMs that come from backspin, side spin, and then top spin on the pitch, because those are gonna be the RPMs that create horizontal and vertical break. Um, so you'll be able to see the true spin by pitch type, um, and then that allows you to see the spin efficiency, which is a per percentage on the pitch. Um, so what the spin efficiency is, is how many RPMs of the total spin are coming from true spin. Uh, so to simplify that, that's just what percentage of the RPMs, the spin rate on the pitch, are helping to create vertical or horizontal break. Um, the reason that's important is some pitch types, uh, when you're trying to create deception, uh, say we're trying to create a gyro slider, uh, that would be an example of a pitch with very low true spin because the goal of that pitch is to create gyro spin, uh, like a spiral of a football uh, or a bullet coming out of a gun, you're creating that gyro. So it's not utilizing a lot of true spin, but what that allows to happen in the ball flight is that pitch to drop due to a lack of magnus force so that pitch can create deception and drop.